What's up everybody and welcome to POC with BG. Today we're going to be looking at all the equipment I took with us on our Beaufort West, Grafrenet, Cape Town and Durban adventure. That's all videography, photography, uploading, editing, all of that stuff. Doesn't matter. Let's go look. Alright, so first of all we need to look at all the equipment we'll be using to shoot this video and then all the other equipment. So let's start off with our Canon 70D which is our vlogging camera. We shoot pretty much everything on this and we take it on all our adventures. We shoot everything except for that which is on the GoPro which we'll get into later. We have a Tamron 18 to 200mm lens and a nice feature is this foldable touch enabled t uh, screen on the camera which helps for shooting in all interesting angles. Yeah. Looking at the other equipment we're going to be using in this video, we have our tripod. It's not a fluid head, but it is good enough for what we need now. It's got tilt and pan functionality, but we would definitely like a fluid head and that's probably one of our next investments. We have our 5-in-1, which is a black out, white reflector, gold reflector, silver reflector, and diffusion, which is awesome for lighting. Unfortunately, the only problem with it is when it's just two of us, such as Tams and myself, we don't have another person to hold it for us. So we did use it in some of our videos where we were, where the camera was static and we could use it to create some nice lighting effects. But other than that, it was quite a mission to actually use it. Something nice to have when you have more people. Next we have the slider courtesy of Adventure Life. This was fantastic. It was awesome to use for our um, apartment tours, location tours, room tours and some more beauty shots when we had the time to set it up. Unfortunately it's not something you can carry with you all the time but we did make special efforts like climbing up Lion's Head. We definitely took this with us and things that we could shoot at home, we had this, such as what we're about to shoot now. Our other equipment, we'll start with the computers. So we have my Mac here and Tammy's laptop. It's so that we can both, both work at the same time. Unfortunately, we only have one laptop, um, so we can only, because we like to go to coffee shops and be mobile when we're working or work outside, but we can't do that at the same time. So Tammy will read, I'll work, or Tammy will work and I will read or download some footage or do some research on my tablet and so on but it is important that we both work at the same time with the amounts of footage that we have at least if we're just dumping on one computer and editing on the other the computer we need to keep working here we have Zeus our five terabyte hard drive this is with that has all our backups of everything we've done so far unfortunately we can't keep all the footage because we don't have enough space but all the completed videos and footage we haven't worked with just yet is always on there we then have this one known as Backup and this one known as Plutus. Um, these two have our current trip uh, raw footage on it and the videos that we've worked on so far. It's that we can both work at the same time and we always keep one. This one's shock resistant, so we always keep this one with us so that they're not in the same place in case something does go wrong, like we had the Giza burst. If something does happen like that, we've at least got one backup of everything we've shot at the moment. Then so we have the My Kindle, which is what I read on. Tammy likes old-fashioned books, so she reads those. We have my iPod for obviously music. Then cut into our travel speakers, as well as Tammy just got a message, and <laughs> and our at-home speaker for music. Now we have the GoPro. We have all the different cases that it comes with. We haven't bought any uh, extra attachments just yet, but we will be doing so shortly. Um, and so we use the full case whenever we're going to water. We never use the half, the like thin plastic that you can touch, use the touch screen with. We always use the thicker one just for safety. So we use that for dust and for water and use this one with the hole in it for if we need to speak to the camera, so such as driving in the car. We take the GoPro with us when we do geocaching, so we don't have to take a whole bunch of equipment, just a small camera, it's strong, because sometimes we don't know where we're gonna go on top of a mountain into the water, we never know, and the GoPro can go with us anyway. Um, we have these mounts here, which we use to attach the GoPro to the car, so we can see in front if we wanna do time lapses, or if we wanna see uh, just the, the road we're traveling on, and we can turn it around and face ourselves so we can see us in the car. Onto our lens cleaning kit, we have this brush. It's also got a wet uh, lens cleaning fluid on the back of that. We have a, we have two cloths, this is just one of them, and then we have a little air pump to get rid of the first amount of dust, 
very handy. This is a new investment and it is fantastic. We've used it a few times, especially by the beach. The humidity kind of messes up your lens quite quickly. We don't have gaffer tape just yet, so we've used masking tape. It doesn't damage anything. It's not as strong though, but it is quick to use. So we've used this to attach the GoPro when we're doing time lapses of sunsets or when we just want to see our lunch, <laughs> small things like that. Also attaching the GoPro to the selfie stick, which is what we use this mostly for. We don't really use it for selfies as such. We use it, we attach the GoPro to the front and we used it when we were hiking so we could get some nice long uh, vantage point shots, some high angles, as well as this got a screw at the bottom. So we attached it to the tripod when doing night lapses of the stars and whatnot. Here we have our storage devices. We have three micro SD cards for the GoPro and we have three SD cards for the camera. We have adapters, uh, these adapters here, so we can, my camera does, my computer doesn't have an SD card slot, so we can dump footage on my computer and Tammy's at the same time, or if we just want to dump on mine, at least we can do it now without plugging the cameras in. All our lens covering equipment. Um, we have the lens hood which we use for direct sunlight or for protecting the lens when we're shooting on the beach and the sand is blowing all over the place. We have one camera battery charging unit. We need two, but for now one is okay because we have two batteries. Obviously I'm using one now, um, but this helps a lot because we usually go out for an entire day and if the battery dies, there's not much we can do about it. The GoPro we can still charge, but the camera, if it dies, it dies. So now having two batteries, it lasted the perfect amount for us. We then have this. This is Tammy's mini Instax camera. We've been started, we've started a project where we take one photo a day for the entire year. Unfortunately, these Polaroids are quite expensive, so sometimes we just take selfies on our phones or with the camera and print it out. But these have a much nicer feel and aesthetic to it. Um, so Tammy's working on some partnership there, so hopefully if that ever comes through, we'll be taking a lot more of these. I'm even thinking of including it in a geocache thing, but that'll come out in due course. So we're gonna take our photo of the day today, right now. And as that prints out, Tammy will let that dry and then we'll see what it looks like just now. Then on to our portable devices, we have my tablet which has got my internet on it. We have Tammy's iPad which we use for research, then Tammy's phone, my phone obviously for updating social media. And then we have, this is a 20 milliamp, 20,000 milliamp power bank which is fantastic. You can charge two devices at the same time and can be charged while charging. Um, and it can charge my phone up to like 10 times, Tammy's phone eight around eight times and we can charge the GoPro which is fantastic for when we've been doing uh, night lapses uh, of the stars or of sunsets um, we can charge the GoPro while taking the, these time lapses. We have a torch because we knew we were going to uh, Camdebu which doesn't have electricity, well it does have electricity but very minimal lighting so we could actually use that to see where we were going and film at the same time. Very small but powerful torch earphones for when we are editing in public spaces or just want to escape the world. <laughs> we then have the 12 volt adapter for the car so we can charge two devices at the same time plus the car has a USB port so we can charge three or we can just use the one USB port which is an iPod port to listen to music. We have a multi-plug and a double two pin adapter. These are awesome for wherever you go. We always take this plus an extension cord because we never know where the plugs will be and if we have enough and we always have to charge a minimum of five devices a night um, plus laptops and computers so we need to have as much plug space as possible. We have the mini stabilizer here. It's quite a mission to set up and to hold so we didn't use it as much as we thought we would but we would use it for our room tours and apartment tours, location tours, those types of things but we haven't used it much on this trip, so it's probably not something we'll bring on the next time. But this is again courtesy of Adventure Life. Power bricks, we have one, two, three, four, five of those, again because we're charging five devices minimum. Then we have three iPhone cables for iPad, uh, two phones. We have three my micro USB cables, that's for the power bank, my Kindle and my tablet. We have mini USB cables, that's for the GoPro. 
and for the speakers so we have a double one for this shot we have a single one for this shot and we have one for the GoPro that we use for charging and one that we keep in the camera bag to dump footage if we need to. We then have this which we keep with us on the in with the power bank because it can charge Samsung with the micro USB, it can charge iPhone and it can charge the old iPhone or iPod. So simple like that. We have three uh, hard drive cables because of the three hard drives that we have. Nicely color coordinated so we know which hard drive uses which cable. Not that it makes a difference, we just like to keep it neat. This is the cable for our charging, the camera charging bank. We have an aux cable just in case we need to do the Bluetooth dies or we just want to attach. I don't know, aux cables are amazing. I always need to have one of those. And then a small uh, idea, but it was amazing, was bringing the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse with a laptop because we often watched series at night or videos at night and once you're sitting in your bed, you don't want to get up and turn everything off so you can control the laptop nicely from bed, put it aside, effortless and clean. Now here we have our photo, <laughs> it's not the greatest one we've ever taken, but you get the idea that that's what we do every day and Tammy will one day get into the specifics of that. There's one more piece of advice I'd like to share before ending this video off and that is the backpack. I brought my big hiking bag so we could take the slider, the stabilizer, the camera, the batteries, GoPro, attachments, food, water, the 5-in-1, the selfie stick, everything with us. So if we were doing things like hiking up Lion's Head or even walking through town, we could carry everything with us and not have all these small pieces. And should an opportunity arise where we want to use the slider or the stabilizer, we'd have it right there and we could use it. Let's take a final look at all the equipment we brought. Thank you for watching, I really hope it helped. As you can see, we brought a lot of equipment, but it takes quite a lot to create a small, short, professional video. Obviously, we're still learning, so there's things we brought that we shouldn't have brought, and there's things that we should have brought that we either don't have yet, or just didn't bring. So we're learning, and hopefully our learning can help you too. And if you subscribe, you'll see more. So, it's a subtle hint to subscribe. Please do like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Subscribe!